Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we're going to design these course cards using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here we can see this is how it looks. We can see that we have all these course cards over here. And uh, we also have a hover effect. And we can add any number of courses over here and it will be stacked up in the correct place over here after the last course. And this is also completely responsive. So if I decrease the window width, this is how it looks on a tablet. So here you can see we have just two columns and if I decrease the width even more this is how it looks on a mobile version. So it is completely responsive. So this is what we're going to design in this tutorial series. Now in this first video we will just write the HTML of this design. So let's get started. <laughs> Right, I have opened up this folder called course cards and I just opened it with VS code. So I also have this folder called images and in that we have these four images which we're going to use in our design. So let's start by creating all the necessary files. So let's click on new file and we'll create an HTML file. I'll just name it index.html and we'll also create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css and we'll also create a JavaScript file. Alright, now let's start with the index.html file and in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML5 code and uh, let's link our CSS file over here so I'll just tap link and press tab and in the href I'll just tap style.css and we'll also link our JavaScript file over here so I'll just tap script colon src press tab and here I'll just tap main.js and let's also get the link of the font that we're going to use so we're going to use a font called roboto so let's get the font from fonts.google.com. Right here I'm in fonts.google.com and here we can see we have the robot of font. If you don't have the font displayed over here, you can just search for the font over here. Right, let's click on the font. And we need to have two styles of this font. So we need to have the regular font. So this is the regular font. And we also need to have this bold version. So let's select the regular version. So let's click on select this style. Now let's scroll down and let's also get the bold version so we'll just get black 900 and we have these two fonts displayed over here and here we have the link of the font so let's copy this and let's paste it in our HTML file so here I'll just paste it inside the head section right now let's start with the markup of our course cards right now the first thing we will do is we'll create a container division and we'll give it a class of courses container and in that we will have all these course cards. Now we can see that these are all links. So you can just add the link of your course over here for each of these cards. So what we need to do is we need to add all these course cards into anchor tags so that we can add links to that. So let's create a division with a class of card and in that we will add an anchor tag and we will add all the content inside the card into this anchor tag. Now the first thing we need to do is add this category. So we have this category for each of these course cards. So for that let's create a division with a class of category and in that I'll just type art for the first one. Now right now we are adding these categories directly over here but later I'll show you how to add these dynamically using JavaScript. All right, the next thing we will do is get the image. So let's create an img tag and here I'll just type images forward slash course1.png and the next thing we need to have is this heading. So let's create an h2 and we'll give the class of title and here I'll just type drawing essentials and uh, let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks so I have this extension called live server installed in VS code so once you install that you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server and here we can see that our design is displayed in the browser All right now the next thing we need to have is this description of the course so for that let's create a division and let's give it a class of description and here I'll just add the text. Alright now the last thing we need to have is this section right here where we have the price and the duration. So for that let's create a division with a class of info and in that we will have a division with a class of price and here I'll just add the price. So for this we have a price of $299.99. And then we have this duration. So for that let's create a division with a class of duration. And in that we need to have this icon and after that we need to have this text. So for the icon we will use hero icons. 
so you can just go to this website called heroicons.com and just search for time and here we can see the icon so let's copy this svg and let's paste it over here i'll just create a division for that so i'll just type time icon and paste it over here and the last thing we need to have over here is the unit so here after this division i'll just create a division with a class of unit and here i'll just type 12 because it's 12 hours so that's basically it with the first course and we have all the elements over here so we have the category we have the image the heading the description and the icon and uh, we also have the time over here so now let's go ahead and copy and paste this course card for the other courses so i'll just copy it from here till here and let's paste it three more times because we have four courses over here right now we are directly copying and pasting this into our html but later i'll show you how to display these courses dynamically using javascript using an array for now let's go ahead and paste it three more times and i'll just quickly go ahead and change the details all right so i have changed the details of all these courses so here we can see we have different headings and details over here i also changed the link of the images so we have course4.png over here here we have course3.png and uh, now let's go to our uh, website and let's see how it looks and here we can see we have all these details displayed over here so that's basically it with the html of our design now in the next video i'll show you how to add the css and make it look like this so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day